YouTubers. This is Joe from Arsenian TV. I'll try and keep this short, I promise. Another game of Interplanetary Eye Spy going on here. Back to Pluto again. And there's this new image which is on this page, which I'll put down below in the description. Uh, NASA.gov. Uh, slash new. This is uh, the one I use all the time. This is great because anything that comes in comes, uh, comes in here first. Uh, and you don't have to search through multiple different parts of the NASA website to find them. They're all kind of shoved up on one page here. And you get proper large TIFF images, which are so some of them are, this one in particular is very large, 173 megabytes. Um, but you can uh, try and download the JPEG version, although it didn't seem to work when I tried. Uh, but the, the thing is with this image, it's very large. Um, and if, unless you've got a decent graphics processor like Photoshop or something similar, you won't be able to open it uh, because it's a TIFF anyway. But really, most of it is rubbish. Uh, it's only the, really the central part here uh, that is any good. The rest of it is all out of focus anyway. So I'm not really sure why they've done that. I think they've just done it to prove that they've they're the first to, to map the whole globe. You know. So let's have a quick look at it in my uh, program here. I've got it in my graphics processor here, PaintShop Pro 9. Now. As you can see, the large areas of this are completely blurred out. Now, obviously, this is where they've taken photographs from quite a long way off. And also, because of the curvature of the planet, some of it's out of focus. So if, if any of you out there are flat earthers, um, there's no such thing as a flat Pluto either, because <laughs> if it was all flat, that, then it would all be in, in much better focus and wouldn't be so blurred around the edge and distorted, so you, you can see the distortion here and the curvature of the planet quite clearly, even though this has been flattened out like a map, like a, a map projection. So there we go. Now, there was a few things in here. Now, uh, one thing I was interested in was this, uh, I've, I've called it the eye, this, this strange crater here has a strange, rather interesting structure in the middle of it, which looks kind of weird. Now, it may be natural, but it looks interesting anyway, so I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. And there's also this over here on the edge of this, what looks like a, a massive ice, uh, load of ice, like a frozen continent or whatever you want to call it, this thing here. Uh, this, is, this is part of the heart shape on, on the planet, they, what they call the heart. And there was this over here, which I thought on, on the edge of it, which looks very straight. Just here. Now, you don't see it great at the moment, but you will do in a minute when I show you the enhancements. That was interesting. There was also this up here, which I've spotted straight away, and it looks to be a rectangular structure inside a crater. Now, this may also be natural, but it doesn't look it. And when I show you the enhancements in a second, you'll see what I mean. And there was also up here. Uh, where was it? It was down here, actually. Yeah, there was also this rather strange structure here, which looks a little bit unnatural, and this one here, which looks like a, a straight edge or a straight angled edge of, of some sort of structure. I don't know. I mean, and it, this there's some weird stuff in here. The problem is we're still a long way off. Uh, I don't know exactly how far we are at the moment. It's, it will say on that page when you look at the image. But basically, we're still quite a long way off, we're millions of miles away. So uh, uh, there is a very a powerful telescope on, on, the, uh, on the Pluto probe. And it's, I think uh, when it was launched, it was only the second largest, most powerful one that was ever sent into space up to that date. So actually, it's, it's as good as the high, almost as good as the high-rise um, telescope on, uh, on Mars, the MRA, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. So it, it's a powerful telescope and it's quite impressive and you can see some really good detail down here uh, in this area but so obviously it zoomed in a bit more and also that obviously it's tra traveling at 30,000 miles an hour so it's getting closer and closer so we will get more detail on this as we get nearer to the planet and there's also this rather strange structure here now that looks looked to me a little bit odd so I'll just quickly go through the enhancements I've done. I'll put clip, these clips in at the end of the video as well also so you can see them a bit better. Right, so what, what do we start with? Well, first of all, I'll show you the, the eye. Now, the eye may not be anything of note, but it, to me it looked rather interesting. 
and when you zoom in it's got a sort of a kind of square structure in the middle like a rectangular structure here which kind of curls round like that uh, and looks rather odd now that may or may not be anything I don't know but it might be the way that the JPEG is, is or the camera has, uh, has pixelated it and, and straightened out some of these these edges here. This is the problem with uh, with pixels because pixels are square. They tend to square everything off at a macro level, and when you zoom in, uh, things look a lot squarer than they should be. So this may well be why we get a lot of these funny shapes and structures that look intelligent. Uh, it, it may often just be the pixelation, as I've said before. But yeah, that does look kind of square, and it. It's interesting anyway, uh, but unfortunately this part of the planet wasn't in focus, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing a bit more detail on this eye, kind of eye-looking huge crater here, and I don't know what size this is. It, it, this is big. Uh, <laughs> this is, um, well, I don't know, let's, let's try and work it out. Let's go back to here. Let's try and work out how big that is. Let's go back to here. Well, if you can see it that clearly, on the planet, then it must be something like 50 miles across or, or something like that. I'd imagine about uh, between 20 and 50 miles, possibly a bit bigger. So there we go. Right, let's let's go back to the other things I found. Let's, I'll just flick through these. So so this isn't going to blow your mind, this one, uh, but I thought it was interesting in any way because you've got this kind of square thing here. But as I said, that could just be pixelation. Now what else have we got? Let's go back to here. Uh, that straight structure next to the rather strange curved structure here I thought was very interesting. Now this is completely raw, I haven't done anything to that. And here's the enhancement. I just thought that was weird. I mean it may well be natural but it, it kind of, this thing especially here looks like a part of a massive structure, like a ramp or something. It's really odd. Uh, it may not be that straight when we we see it closer up, but it does look very strange. I thought that was worth a look anyway. Here it is with a bit of colour to it. You might be able to see that better. But this particularly here I thought was rather strange. Very strange indeed. don't know what that is. Could it be an intelligent structure? Could be. Uh, we have found them on every other planetary body we visited, pretty much. Uh, Mars, Phobos, you know, the Moon. They're all over the place, and, and if you're one of my subscribers, you would have seen a lot of my videos and other people's videos about this. So uh, it's not just me that's, uh, that's saying this. There are many, many researchers that have found the same thing. Now this is that crater with what looks like a rectangular structure in it with another smaller rectangular structure in the center. Now this is the raw clip. Now this is probably a bit close to see the detail, but if you look at the leading edge here, and edge here and edge here. It does look rather rectangular. A lot more so than those other things I just showed you. Uh, this is also quite large. It's not as big as the eye. Uh, I'd say this this may well be f five or ten miles across. I don't know exactly. There's no scale on this thing, so I don't know. I'm just get, I'm just kind of estimating that from the other things. So there we are. I mean that I thought was pretty cool, and this was the first thing I spotted actually. That looks like a very, very large rect rectilinear kind of structure inside a crater. And there also seems to be some detail here, which we can't quite see, just here. Which may be very large buildings, who knows. Uh, but, as I said before, th this is a long way off. We're, we're not in brilliant focus here. Uh, we're going to see a lot more detail, hopefully, as we get closer and closer. So, um, did I do any more enhancements of that? This this actually looks better when you see it from further back. Uh, that's what it, that's the angle it is when you look at it on on the page. But I flipped it round slightly just to straighten it out, so you can see that there's something there. That's raw, and then when I do that, you can see there's a, a kind of rectangular structure here, very strange, like a huge huge structure. So what else have we got? We got that and that long straight structure, which is this. I thought was really weird because you've got like a, a, an angle here and a long straight structure with some structures coming off it. Really weird. Um, very strange indeed. I, I wasn't really sure what to make of that. Let's see that again. That's the enhanced version. There's also something here, if you can see it just here. But the problem is it's very pixelated, this part of the image, and they've overlaid 
um, lower and higher res images on top of each other and layered it, and you've got a lot of, of um, like a grid sort of pixelation pattern running through the whole part of the image. So it's hard to tell with a lot of this stuff, but there does seem to be something just here, and this looks rather straight to, too straight to be natural, this, this part and this part here. Now these are supposed to be uh, bits of frozen ground or ice here, but they seem to have broken into very straight structures like this here. Okay, let's see, I did flip it round. Here it is raw. Now I tried to straighten that out. I've just turned it to the left. And it looks extremely straight. And look at these that diagonal there, very strange. Very strange indeed. Here's the enhancement. There we go. Now this also may be natural and, and it may just be a fact that we're not seeing enough detail that, that it looks this way. This can happen. But uh, to me it did look very odd. Very odd indeed. There's the negative of it. As I said, I'll, I'll put clips of these in at the end. I think that was it for this one. Um, the, the most, the, the most uh, convincing thing to me was this thing in the crater. And it seems to have a structure here as well, which looks kind of rectangular. And another one here, just here. I may do a bit more work on that before, and I'll put it in at the end of the video for you. I'll try and sharpen this up a bit more. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.